All right, this is a quick response video for someone who wanted to modify an existing talent. The Reflective Shield talent, which I totally forgot existed, it causes 22% of the damage you absorb with Power Ward Shield to reflect back at the attacker, right? And this damage causes no threat. So I was originally a bit confused about what he wanted. So it sounded like he wanted to reflect the damage received rather than the absorb amount. So if that's indeed what you want, just let me know. But I... I think that causes some balancing issues for sure. So if you have like Kael'thas on Strider and you're reflecting 100% of his Pyroblast back at him, not that I'm even sure it would even work on him because I think he has spell immunity to reflect anyway. But anyway, the point is that if you want to change this absorb amount from 22% to 100%, whatever, 50% to 100%, all you're going to do is you're just going to open up Spell Editor, find the Reflective Shield, which is 33201, and 33202, and you're just modifying these values. So the first one would be 49 for 50%, and the second one would be 99 for 100%, because he's actually taking these base values from base value 1 and base value 2. And then regarding threat, there's actually no indication that threat is being modified at all, either in the spell DVC. So you're actually going to want to look into your database under threat and see if there's a entry, which doesn't look like it does. So we're gonna go ahead and look at custom attributes just to double check. We're just looking for this spell again, 33201. And it's not there either. So what that tells me is that the damage that's created from the script Okay, so there's no so there's no indication, right? So that means that maybe there's a custom spell being cast, or maybe it's adding the damage directly. If the damage is being added directly, then you're not going to get threat on that no matter what you do. So it looks like it is casting a custom spell, though. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. So casting custom spell, the spell is Spell Priest Reflective Trigger. So we're going to go ahead and see what number that is at the top, which is 33619. We look that up, we see what it does, and then we see if there is anything indicating threat here or here. So yeah, it looks like this does generate threat. So 33619, you would untick this checkbox, which is generates no threat. And then you would double check your custom attributes, which is 33619, right? There's no spell ID for that either. And then you would also check the threat of said spell, just to make sure it's not being overwritten by anything in the database. So it does look like it's being overwritten by something in the database. So, so then you just have to modify these values. So what you would do is you'd figure out what this table does. So so let's go see what this table does on the Azeroth Core database website. Um, so this is a spell threat table. It holds all the threat values on spells that should either give or take away threat. Um, this doesn't look like it's really giving any good information. So what I would assume is either put one here, percent mod, I also want to play around with the values in the flat modifier because this is a flat modified amount of threat. Or you could just delete this entry entirely and see if it causes threat already by default from the DBC after you've unticked those generate threat flags. Yeah, either delete the entry, get rid of the flag that's in the spell, or um, modify this entry and play around with the numbers. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for the question. If anyone else is looking to modify existing spells, create new spells or anything like that, I would love to hear what you're working on and if you need help on anything, because these are probably useful for other people as well. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. I will see you guys on the other side of Azeroth.